Converting to y equals a over x minus h plus k form. So there's two methods. In the first method, we're going to use division. This is usually the method that I, I use all the time anyway. So this is sort of the, the method that we would, um, we already know how to divide. So we may as well stick with what we know. So in this example, we're going to convert. And this would allow us then to graph. So for me to do that, we're going to do division. I prefer synthetic division, which means my divisor, x minus 2, would be the, the 0 of the de denominator, which would be 2 as my divisor out front. I use my synthetic division, and I put in the coefficients of 4 and negative 5. I leave a space. I bring down the first number, and I get 4. Then we multiply. 4 times 2 is 8. Then we add. We get 3. Remember, this was my remainder, so the answer is 4 with a remainder of 3. Now, we were always putting the remainder of the divisor, so we purposely had a certain form we would use. So this would be 4 plus 3 over x minus 2. Now, this is really important because if I just rearrange those and, and put this part first, here's my equation. y is equal to 3 over x minus 2 plus 4. So that's the value in learning that form of the equation is now you have it in a over x minus h plus k form, and you can see the horizontal shift or the asymptote and the uh, vertical shift, and then there's an a value of 3. Let's try example b. Same idea, we're going to divide, so we take the 0 of the denominator, so we're going to have negative 3, and we put in our coefficients 2 and 2, bring down the 2, multiply to get negative 6, add to get negative 4. So this is 2 minus 4 over x plus 3. So when we write that as our equation, we're going to write this part first. The negative is with the 4. So it's negative 4 over x plus 3 plus 2, which would mean that there's a reflection, vertical stretch by a factor of 4, and then you've got your, your h value and your k value for your shifts and your asymptotes.